Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy, if you're new here. If you're not new here, thanks so much for coming back. So today, my video is going to be about what I eat while intermittent fasting. We've talked a lot about progress and results and rules when fasting, what a clean fast is, um, what you can and can't have in your fasting window, which is nothing, and just kind of when I eat, but we've never really discussed what I eat. I have said before I truly eat whatever I want to, but I've gotten a lot of specific questions. And so I just wanted to share with you guys kind of like a five day look into what I eat. And I'm gonna go through and describe to you what I had each day for five days and then kind of remind you where I'm at on my progress. So if you're interested to see what you can eat and still get results with while intermittent fasting, just keep watching. So first of all, let's start out with what can you eat during intermittent fasting? What are the rules um, just in general? And the answer to that is literally anything. You can literally eat anything you want while intermittent fasting. While you are fasting, while you're in your fasting window, you can't eat anything. Nothing. It's boring. There's no like consumption of fun, tasty, flavorful things. No, you can't have flavored water. No, you can't have sugar-free, crystal light, whatever, diet coke, zero calorie. You can't have that. Save that for your window. The reason being, and I'm not going to go into the exact science of everything, but you don't want to spike your insulin. You don't want to cause your blood sugar to go up or anything like that. So fasting is boring. You can have black coffee, black tea, and plain water. That being said, when you open your window, when you are in your feasting time, in your feasting window, you can quite literally have whatever you want. Now, I'm going to say, if you are looking at intermittent fasting, primarily for weight loss, there are ways where you could probably lose weight faster. That being said, there are, the real magic of intermittent fasting does not happen while you're eating, it happens while you're not eating, so you're gonna get health benefits. Reduction in inflammation, um, depletion of your glycogen stores and um, ketosis and autophagy and all of those things take place while you're fasting. So your body's healing and doing the amazing things while you're not eating. So when you are eating, you're feeding your body. Now before I tell you what I ate for five days, I want to remind you when I started intermittent fasting, I was 193 pounds. The last update I did with weight, I was 176 pounds and now I'm actually down to 169.4. Um, but we'll say even 170 for reference. So that's 23 pounds down. So I've lost 23 pounds in 23 pounds in five months. Now, could I have lost more? Yes. There are a lot of people who in conjunction with intermittent fasting will do a keto diet or a low carb diet or they will do a whole 30 style diet or a paleo diet or you know any a vegetarian diet whatever suits their lifestyle or whatever they want to try i know that i could do a low carb diet and i could lose weight faster i just don't want to i like carbs i have no other excuse there's like that, that that's it i just i like carbs so there are definitely things that you can do to lose weight faster and those things will show i think greater benefits faster benefits I've noticed that when I eat certain things, my weight loss slows a little bit. And when I don't eat those things, for example, carbs is one of them and a lot of sugar, then my weight loss seems to accelerate and things. And it makes sense because sugar is inflammatory. Carbs convert to sugar. It's all inflammatory. So if you're putting inflammatory things into your body, then your body has to do more work to heal from that inflammation before it can kind of move into the weight loss mode. So it makes sense. That being said, I'm going to tell you what I've eaten and literally keep in mind i have lost over 30 inches and 23 more than 23 pounds eating this okay so here we go day one i opened up my window i had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich i had a cup of black coffee and well i had black coffee before that but i had peanut butter and jelly sandwich and i it had some black coffee and water and then i went through to dinner and i ate eggs and toast like two fried eggs over medium with three slices of toast with butter. That's what I ate that day. So basically carbs, <laughs> basically carbs. Now I do want to say that this week is not necessarily there. The days that I'm telling you about are not necessarily typical. I did eat out a lot. We had a lot going on. I had some doctor's appointments. We had some meetings that we had to do. Um, we're trying to sell our RV. We're looking at buying houses. Like there's all this stuff going on. So we were kind of running around and there was a lot of 
dining out that doesn't necessarily take place but it's not that's what i mean though in this in this week i still lost weight so i think it's a kind of good gauge to just let you know how serious i am when i say whatever you want so day two i had chick-fil-a fries <laughs> i had an appointment that i went to i did with a dmv actually and on the way back from the dmv which took forever i broke my fast and i had some fries from chick-fil-a and a sweet tea and then i came home i got made dinner for the kids and then i went out to a ladies bible study and we went to this amazing french cafe where i had chicken salad sandwich on a croissant and half of a little chocolate mousse cup and a cafe au lait and that was what i ate on day two on day three i <laughs> took emma to her violin lesson and while I was waiting for her to get done, I went over to Chili's and did the dr drive up order and I picked up some of their Southwestern egg roll appetizer. Delicious. So I had three Southwestern egg rolls, which are, I don't know, there's like spinach and cilantro and I, all black beans. They're just, they're so good. They're so good. Anyway, that's what I had kind of like for my lunch fast breaking meal. Um, I came home and I had some water and then we had to go out and we didn't have to go. We went out and looked at some houses with our realtor and so we'd met her right after Tim got off work. So we ended up stopping at Taco Bell. At Taco Bell I had two crunchy tacos with sour cream, or no, no sour cream, they were just plain tacos. Two crunchy tacos and I also had a ground beef chalupa and I had a sweet tea to go with it. For day four, you guys are not gonna believe that this is how I eat, like it's ridiculous. I'm a little embarrassed to be sharing this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Day four, I had a uh, cream of chicken soup with rice in it, so the chicken and rice, and that was what I had before running out to meet with Tim again to go to the real see the, with the realtor to see houses. And then we stopped on the way home, <laughs> and I had a chicken Caesar salad and chili cheese fries from Wendy's with a small soda. So I did get soda, but I usually get like, even now, because I find that I just don't like to drink as much sugar, I get the small drinks and I usually don't refill them. And I don't bring them with me because I don't like to just constantly sit and sip on sugar. So there is that, like there's little things that I've changed in my lifestyle that I just don't do anymore. And I'm sure that those things help, but there you have it. So that was the end of day four. And then on day five, I fasted. I broke my fast with some of those like Triscuits. I don't know if you know they are. They're like little whole wheat shredded wheat kind of like baked cracker things and I had the rosemary and olive oil flavor because they're my favorite so I had some crackers with some sliced uh, medium cheddar cheese and that was how I broke my fast and then later on in the day for dinner we had a turkey breast and cranberry sauce with stuffing olives and green beans and mashed potatoes it's kind of like a little mini Thanksgiving dinner um, and that's what we had for dinner that day so that was fairly healthy i mean it was homemade i made everything put it together put it on the table so it wasn't an unhealthy meal but that's what we ate that day and that was the five day or day five so that's what i had for five days so lots of takeout lots of carb some home cooking um typically in a week i will cook at home usually like i'll make you know spaghetti with meat sauce for the kids and i and tim to eat or we'll have um like tacos or taco soup or like a pot roast with potatoes and carrots. I mean, we eat things like that a lot, but in this five day period, I ate out a lot. I tried to make some good choices. Like I, you know, I disguised my fast food eating with a chicken Caesar salad and called it healthier, but I truly eat whatever I want to. Truly and true, like really and truly anything I want to. The key is, is when you are fasting, like I said, that's when the magic happens. That's when the healing happens. Now, if I were to watch what I eat and, and even, you know, cut out gluten or just reduce carbs and, and things like that, I know that I could lose weight faster. I just, I'm more interested in a long-term sustainable lifestyle solution than I am quick weight loss. And quite frankly, in five months, I have lost 23, almost 25 pounds. Like that's fantastic. 20 weeks and that's, you know, so it's over a pound a week on average. And so I feel really good about that. I feel like, you know, I will get down to my goal weight eventually and everything will be fine and I will be where I want to be. And I will have gotten there without feeling like I am denying myself or feeling like I'm suffering or sacrificing or, you know, giving up or giving it. And so I feel like that really is kind of 
the deal for me. I hope you found this video informative and enlightening and hopefully you don't think too much less of me for my eating choices. But if you enjoyed this and you wanna see future videos, subscribe down below so that you don't miss them. I do have a very interesting video coming up next week. Um, it's a little bit of a surprise, but I'm sure that you won't wanna miss it. So like I said, subscribe so that you don't miss any videos and I will see you back here next week for our next video. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye.